Dude, this is horrible. Kia! Yeah, dude, that ain't cool, man. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Twin Turbo. First off, I just want to start this video off by saying thank you, guys. 3K subs just around the corner, man. My goal was a 1,000. Like, five months ago, I decided to start a channel. You know, we did the 1K giveaway for the oil catch can. Now we're doing three HKS M45 IL giveaways in a row. 10K JB4, which is going to be lit. If you guys are helping me grow, I want to give back. We're doing this thing, bro, and uh, we're Twin Turbo, so sky's the limit. Next car could be a Lexus GSF twin turbo. Compression ratio is good on those. I digress. Today, I'm going to be diagnosing this hatch rattle because let's face it, guys, a lot of the stingers, this is a common issue. Not all, not all, not all. But I think a certain date range, a certain batch of stingers have tolerance issues with the hatch and the sunroof. So just so you can be prepared, let me give you guys like a catch up sort of a thing. When I bought this car, it had 20 miles on it. At 250 miles, the hatch started rattling. And I swear, I was like, something's back there, something's back there. No, I had someone drive the car when I was back there and it's the hatch. There are some bump stops that I'll show you that you can actually adjust, but they end up like they're loose and they're, they're kind of cheap. I'll show, I'll show you but that's not a permanent fix. The permanent fix is adding a washer on this piece that I've read and I've seen. We're gonna try this out. Again, it's coming from the passenger rear area. So I got the GoPro facing that way. And then we're gonna try the washers. I am going to be installing the NGI Performance vanity covers. Shout out to Nick, NGI Performance. This is important if you get the JB4. JB4 is not cheap, almost 600 bucks. Water gets in there, that's connected to your whole ECU system. I'm not risking that. We're gonna cover them. Nick, thank you. He did provide me with a small discount. By the way, this t-shirt, like I said, this one actually printed out great. So, you know, I don't know. We'll figure this out. It's a rainy, gloomy, cold, cold, cold day here in the Midwest. We're gonna have to work with what we have. I have about an hour left before it gets dark, so I'm gonna shut up. Let's get busy, let's get driving. Let's hear this hatch rattle. It's annoying, it's gotta go. We are live. Actually, this is another awesome thing I love about this phone mount right here. Just slide it in. Jeez, um... You got the camera rolling in the back. This right out here, I know for sure it's gonna rattle. It rattles the worst. We're in comfort mode. The exhaust shouldn't be loud at all. I'm gonna shut up. Listen to this rattle. I can just, right here it's gonna rattle. That is a horrible rattle, guys. I've let it go. So no wonder it's really bad right now. But uh, yeah, don't let your rattles go. Here are my two washers, 5 16 from what I read, the research I did, these should work. But look, man, this is what I'm talking about. Like this comes out pretty easy and I've seen people adjust them to where, you know, they're like that, but look, it's just flimsy. This will end up wiggling back into place. We're gonna be removing this. We're gonna stick that extra washer behind here and that should help fix this issue. I'm gonna do it on all of them. All right, so I had to move my car in the garage. Ugh, is that a scratch? It's raining out, I got adverse weather conditions here. First things first, let's go ahead and remove this. Make sure that the washer fits in here. It looks like a hex bolt. Let's go see what I got. Thought I had the Allen bolt, like a star, the star key, I guess you would call it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not a mechanic. I know what I need, and I gotta go grab those. Gotta have the tools to finish this job, but uh, let's head to Lowe's. are actually what I need right here. I want to get socket ones. It's always fun buying tools. Well, I guess I need them, huh? But I really don't want to. Let's see, where are you guys? Well, we got tools for days, right? So I appear to have found them, guys. Dang, these things are like 40 bucks. And um, I gotta make sure I get the right size here. So the official name is Torx, not Star. <laughs> Dude, it seems like it would be this one or that one. Yeah, we're gonna go with these. I know, Craftsman, Cobalt would have been a better choice. Well, I guess it's a business expense, right?
So yeah, man, to buy tools. That's like the worst, like when you have an unexpected uh, need for a tool and you have to go buy it and it's like 30, $40, it's like, <sighs> In case you guys don't have any tools, you can just buy this only on Amazon or if they just sell them individually somewhere, it's a T40. That's what goes in here. Let's get that off. I just wanted to show you what comes out. So it comes like this, that'll be like that. And then on the other side, there's these washers. But look at the ones that like they provide. These things are so tiny, it's insane. And we are going to be putting on much thicker one. So let's we'll see if this does the trick. And then if not, then I'll have to, or something around those little spindles so they don't work their way back down. New washer I put first, closest to this bolt, and then I put the factory one back in there to give it that little extra, you know, to push this out a little bit more. Um, that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go back and add just two big washers. I think that would definitely do the trick since they're so much thicker already than stock. So regardless, we're adding the thickness of one washer on here over stock. I'm gonna do both sides, go on a test drive, See if this works. If it works, it's a super easy. I'll link everything you need down in the description of Amazon. Help me out, use my link. Easy fix, dude. Much better than wasting time with the dealer. This is gold. So the first time I took it to the, to the Kia dealer, this is the passenger side. Look, they already did this. They put one on here. Now these washers are very thin compared to the ones I got. <laughs> That's so funny. The first time, like I told you guys, I had the hatch rattle at 250 miles. Well. You know, they did attempt to fix it and it did work, but obviously I think both sides are gonna need it or we're gonna need even one more washer. So let's find out. One of the aftermarket washers that I got that I'm gonna put in the link of the description is just as thick as the two washers they used to fix it. So if we do one of these 5 16th washers and then one factory washer, I think that's gonna give us what we're looking for. All right, I got them all tightened down. Now, uh, my only other concern though, guys, is this. This feels extraordinarily cheap and like it's gonna work its way back in there. And then, you know, it falls out once it's too far. So I'm just a little like, I've seen people zip tie these and stuff, but uh, I don't know, let's go try this out first. Well, unfortunately that did not fix it. I mean, I'm gonna have to troubleshoot here a little more. Remove the subs and see if there's anything in there rattling, which I highly doubt it, but the culprit, I am suspicious of these things. So I'm trying something out here. So this is where Kia, you know, like the quality thing, listen, it's just super loose. That's ridiculous. So we need to make it tighter as we screw it. So there's tension, so it's not moving around. I think this is the culprit personally. Process of elimination. When you release the hatch now, there's like a lot of pressure. You can feel it pop. It's definitely tighter. <sighs> This, this is this is just this sucks dude kia you gotta fix this right here was the worst right here on this dip oh yeah it's gone completely gone i'm so happy you guys have no idea so happy my neighbors probably think i'm crazy i've been going in and out of the garage probably six or seven test drives i also used some plastic bags on the big plastic screws I put the plastic over the threading, so when I started screwing it, it started getting very resistant, and it made the you know the adjustment rod stiff, which is the goal. I need to kind of clean that up, and then probably put some zip ties on there, really tight, to allow it from not moving up. It needs to stay where it's at. Right now, all the rattles are gone. It feels like I actually have a car with 10,000 miles on it, not 110. I mean, I'm just super happy of course i'm gonna go over this during the day tomorrow but right through here i'm gonna be quiet oh yeah it was rattling bad through here so it's completely gone you guys aren't gonna believe what it was so after doing all of this stuff you know the common fixes for the hatch rattle kept rattling and i was going insane so I, uh, let me, I'm gonna take this piece inside my office and explain it to you, hold on. Dude, after six test drives, I finally figured out the hatch wrap. I had the two Sundown Audio SA12s and I think they just flex so hard that it did this. This came apart. This is the back vanity cover type thing that goes by the hatchback. But look, every time I would hit a bump, I thought it was metal on glass, but that was it. If you're having some weird rattles, Check that out first. Check all like the other side too, I don't know. Maybe I did that when I was putting it in. I've taken it in and out so many times and I just never noticed it, but uh, sure enough, 
That was the final draw. So just a quick recap. We took these off. We added the two washers on each side of the car. I also put like dynamat material behind this that I cut out. That should help. This is, might be a little confusing to you guys because normally that right there will fix the hatch rattle on these cars. Mine was this security cover, I guess you would call it, for the cargo area. Right there, it was rattling up against that plastic over there. So that could have been the main issue all along. But the problem is, is I went ahead and I fixed this and these first. Also on these guys, so what I did here, as you can see these zip ties, I took a plastic grocery bag, put it on the top of the threads. So that way when I started spinning it, it got really hard. So now it's a lot stiffer and it's not going anywhere. These zip ties will help that from working its way back up in there. Cause that's another common issue. The guys that adjust these or when the dealer adjusts them, they end up wiggling back out of place and that can cause a rattle as well. So if you do this and do the washers, that will fix your hatch rattle. But if you're still hearing a rattle, highly advise you to check that part right there. I need to vacuum this out. Obviously I got the eight inch sub back in here. The 212s are just way too overkill, insane. And I think that's, <laughs> I think that's what, uh, what flex that thing apart, but super happy. No more rattles. This is amazing. Easy, easy fix. So that's awesome news. Freaking, uh, I'm definitely glad that that is situated, but here's the deal. So tomorrow, maybe I can do the vanity covers in the garage tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I gotta get those done. Maybe that'll just be a separate video. I gotta get this video together and I got so many freaking ideas, man. Awesome, sick content. Twin turbo content, other twin turbos, not just Zoe, but a 350 GT Mustang twin turbo with 1200 horse. He's got his stuff situated, so it's gonna be sick. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you later.